Welcome back. In Wednesday's business report, the China Merchants Group has announced it wants to make Djibouti the shekel of East Africa. Now, reporting from New York with more details on Chinese investment in East Africa is Africa 54 business correspondent, Jill Malandrino. Hi, Jill. Hi, Vincent. So African Business reported that China Merchants Group, or what we call CMG, wants to turn the port of Djibouti into a big hub port, similar to the Sheku Terminal in Shenzhen, China. Now, the port of Shenzhen, which includes the Sheku Terminal, it's the third biggest container port in the world. The government seems to be basing its economic strategy on its port capacity and the free trade zone, taking advantage of its location at the entrance to the Red Sea on the shipping lines uh, between Asia and Europe. So here's the catch though. It could be argued that while Djibouti can function as a transshipment hub, it only has a population of 950,000 people. So it seems unlikely that the scale of its ambition can be achieved without immigration, although the government denies this. Now, someone looking at the size, the population may say, well, does it really make strategic sense to invest that amount of money in a port of Djibouti? You know, I think it does. Recall China has invested hundreds of millions of dollars in Ethiopia. The bulk of recent investment is being made in the textile and apparel sector, which is helping Ethiopia develop itself as a manufacturing hub for the global textile market. So Chinese companies are moving closer to the raw material base and also using Africa as a gateway to emerging markets on the continent and to the European market. The port of Djibouti has those shipping lanes to Asia and Europe, so it's geographically well positioned, and this has also been aided by the complete completion of the $4 billion electrified railway from the port to Addis Ababa last year. And so this is uh, not so much just about Djibouti. Uh, so, uh, you know, at this point, you really look in amazement at Ethiopia as a country that has uh, risen literally out of the ashes to, uh, to where it is today through foreign investment, right? Oh, yeah, agreed. It's a model story for the most part. Ethiopia is among the fastest growing in the world and has registered a double-digit growth rate for the last 10 years. The relative political and social stability, you have rapid economic growth, favorable climate and fertile soils, abundant labor force, competitive incentive packages, and access to wide markets are some of the reasons that are contributing to the growth of foreign direct investment. As with any developing nation, gaining and maintaining trust of institutional investors is going to be key for growth going forward. Hoping for the best, and we know it has been going through some instability. Uh, thank you very much, Jill, as always. That's thank uh, you. Africa 54 business correspondent Jill Malandrino reporting from New York.